Many clinicians treat patients over 50 years old to maintain a systolic blood pressure of less than 140 millimeters of mercury. But cardiovascular risk increases as the systolic blood pressure rises above 115 millimeters of mercury. The goal of the SPRINT trial was to determine whether a target systolic pressure of less than 120 millimeters of mercury reduces cardiovascular risk as compared with the usual target systolic pressure of less than 140 millimeters of mercury for non-diabetic patients who are 50 or older. A total of 9,361 patients were randomized to a target systolic blood pressure of either less than 120, the intensive treatment group, or less than 140, the standard treatment group. During the study, the groups achieved mean systolic blood pressures of 121.5 and 134.6, respectively. The intensive treatment group required on average approximately 2.8 blood pressure lowering medications, as compared with 1.8 medications in the standard treatment group. The primary outcome was a composite of myocardial infarction, acute coronary syndrome, stroke, acute decompensated heart failure, or cardiovascular death. Three years into a planned five-year study, the trial was stopped because the rate of the primary outcome was significantly lower in the intensive treatment group, as was the rate of all-cause mortality. Some serious adverse events, including hypotension, syncope, electrolyte abnormalities, and acute kidney injury or acute renal failure were more common in the intensive treatment group, but injurious falls were not significantly increased, and orthostatic hypotension was significantly decreased. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.